Hello everyone, Home Affairs Minister Aaron Mazzarelli and the Department's Director General Tommy Makode are seeking permission to, to approach the Supreme Court of Appeal to overturn a previous judgment which declared the termination of the ZEP program as unlawful and unconstitutional. The leave to appeal application has been opposed by the Helen Sussman Foundation and the Consortium for Refugees and Migrants in South Africa. During proceedings, the applicant's lawyer advocate William Mokare told the full bench of the court on Monday that his clients believed that the SCA could come to a different conclusion in determining whether there were reasonable prospects of success. Mokare argued that ZEP, which was introduced in 2009, had always been intended to be a temporary solution to allow Zimbabweans who fled political and economical turmoil in their country to live and work in South Africa until the government was satisfied that it could terminate the program. The advocate highlighted even the court in their 28th June ruling acknowledged the non-renewal of the ZEP, although it criticized Mutualedi for failing to notify or consult permit holders. Mokara said, so the issue really before court, as it correctly pointed out, was whether the termination of the dispensation of the exemption program that was given to Zimbabwean nation accorded with the constitutional prescript and whether it was done in a manner that is permitted by law. Mokare argued government had no legitimate purpose for the ZEP program to continue since the original conditions that Zimbabweans escaped from were no longer prevalent. He said, we should submit that on a proper scrutiny of this decision, looking at how initially it was taken in 2009 and the purpose it sought to serve and its termination, it is one that is more attuned to the policy-laden decision than an administrative decision. Therefore, the advocate said the court had to determine whether the ZEP's termination was rational. Kare also said the court ought to have embarked on that exercise of rationality because what the court did was to embark on a procedural rationality inquiry but it intertwined it with procedural fairness and two were quite distinct. He further pointed out that although Mozzaletti did not consult prior to the termination in November 2021, he did so post the decision. Home Affairs received 6,000 representations. He said, we submit the type of representations that were made and which we have received were of such a nature that did not tilt the scale on the state of mind that the minister had already pronounced himself on. But that again goes to procedural fairness. Mokare said that the impact of the ZEP termination of families, particularly on children living in South Africa, had always been foreseen, but it could have not created an impression that the program would remain permanent. He said the upshot of it is to say that no decision can be made by the minister, which will result in Zimbabweans having to be returned to their country, because then will argue that they have already cement their lives in South Africa to an extent that to root them is to disrupt their families and is therefore unconstitutional and infringing their dignity. Dignity is a fundamental right which is entrenched in our constitution but it is one that requires a balancing exercise in the context of other factors that have to be taken into account when a decision of this nature is taken. Mokare said another reason why the ZAP was not renewed was because Home Affairs budget constraints. He said the department requested 146 million rand and Treasury only made available 15 million rand. So it was clear that the budget was not available to cater to the ZAP program. The permit was set to expire in December 2022 before the minister extended its validity until June 2023. Mozzoletti later extended the ZEP deadline by another six months to December 2023, citing a wave of visa and waiver applications from affected Zimbabwean nationals. According to the minister, the decision was taken to give the ZEP holders an opportunity to apply for one or other visas provided for the Immigration Act, which they may qualify for. What's your take on this one, people? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more news.